Hey Libra, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so I'm finally getting to your yearly reading, so let's just jump right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go quarter by quarter, month by month. We're going to do a focus on love, finance, and career, okay, guys? So just know this is a general reading, guys. It's not going to resonate with 100% of people. If you guys want your own yearly reading, I'm more than happy to do that for you, okay? So let's see what's going on. What is going on with the sign of Libra? 2018 first quarter. All right, let's take a look. Okay, guys, so the energy that you guys have for this month is a star, or in this quarter, rather, is a star card in the reverse. So maybe some of you are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but there could be something that you were hoping for that may not come to pass. Now, it could also be one of those things where it's like, be careful what you wish for. All right, so let's see how this goes forward. Now, for love in January, we have the Ten of Swords. So there could have been a harsh ending. There could have been a betrayal, you know, something that felt... Or will feel a little bit tough. You know, we're halfway through the month. And maybe it was a third-party situation with the Three of Cups here. Okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles, this could have been, you know, maybe a person that you were waiting on or something that you were patient with. But someone here had a new start, all right, and kept it secret and turned their back on the other. And for some of you, it could have been you, okay? Because you guys are coming up in the upright energy, uh, so maybe you left someone behind, you know, maybe you just weren't happy anymore and you started talking to someone else, but you kind of just kept it to yourself. Now, for work and finances, we have the higher thought in the reverse. So some of you could do unconventional things when it comes to finances. Others of you could just find that, you know, where you are in terms of work may not be the best thing for you. So what do you do? You let it go and you go towards a new start. You go towards a new beginning. All right. And with the high priestess in the reverse... The reason why you were falling out of or why you might not want to be where you are is because maybe your soul doesn't resonate with what you're doing. Maybe your higher self, you know, isn't happy there. And with the chariot, again, you guys move forward and you take control of the situation and you have this new start and you go towards things that are going to make you feel better. All right. And, you know, with the energy here, the general energy for January as a judgment in the reverse. You're seeing that there could have been someone or something in your life that just wasn't a good call. So you're just getting past it. You're getting through it. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So maybe it's going to be an Earth sign, uh, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn who's upset with you. Okay. Ace of Swords in the reverse. So there's something that could be conflicting, problematic. Uh, someone else who could be acting immature or just, you know... Being very, very stubborn, but with the four of pentacles, you guard yourself from this. And with the ace of wands in the reverse, you tell yourself that you want to let this thing go. All right? That is something that's not going to help you. Now, for February, we have the three of swords where you might still be in your head with what it is that you have to let go of. Or, you know, maybe there's someone that, again, you broke their heart, but they're still there. But you're walking away from somebody here. Okay? Something that you were emotionally invested in. And with the hanged man in the reverse, it's something that you were kind of in limbo with, but now you're looking at it like, yes, it's time to go. It's time to get out of here. With finances, you guys have the nine of swords in the reverse. So any sense of anxiety or stress that you have in terms of finances, it does subside, but you guys leave behind something that wasn't helping you, you know, to grow financially. And by doing that, you're avoiding problems, you're avoiding pettiness, you're avoiding, you know, things that could have gone wrong at work or in the office or just with finances in general, all right? And it's like with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not going to move forward until you find something that you know is going to be good for you, that you know is going to be uh, able to help you grow and to benefit you, all right? And there's a big burden that you release by letting go of things that are not right for you in this month. And we have the Eight of Wands where there's action, there's talk, there's reciprocation once you release these burdens. All right. And we have the Six of Cups where 
there's things that you guys just leave in the past. You let go of burdens. You know, maybe there was some sort of relationship or a job that you had to let go of. But look at what comes in after. You have the Ace of Cups. So there's a new start that's going to be emotionally gratifying. You're just letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore. Now, going into the month of March, for love, we have the moon card in the reverse. So if there's any sense of confusion, any sense of not having clarity in the situation, it does come back to you. And with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the clarity that you may get is something that could make you really feel guarded, okay, against someone or maybe against love in general at that time. All right, and we have the Five of Swords where... You know, there was conflict with what you find out, uh, what you found out or what it was that you realized. So you're telling yourself, look, it's time to go into a new chapter. This is done. This is over with. I can't deal with it anymore. For five, uh, I'm sorry, for the finances for March, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, this is going to be a sense of imbalance that you might feel. You know, there could be a secret that comes out at work, some sort of deception, some sort of lie where... Maybe you feel like your job is compromised. Maybe you feel like things aren't going to move forward in a good way. But you remove yourself from whatever imbalance, you know, is happening here. And you put a lot of thought into how you want to move forward. Now, for the general energy, we have Queen of Wands, okay? And again, this is for March. So there could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's very important for you. Or this could be you guys just really taking on that leadership role, you know, this is a card, you know, in my opinion, this is a card for entrepreneurs. This is a card for people that they don't really have to knock door to door. They don't really have to uh, convince people to follow them. They just naturally get followed because people, it's like they see the passion in this person and they just, they want to do what they're doing. And with the seven of wands in the verse, it's like you take this very powerful stance and you let go of things. You know, I, I feel like the first quarter is really you guys just taking out anything that's not going to be good for you. And you have the King of Wands here. So you guys are really onto something that's very powerful, okay? Where there's going to be, you know, passion that you invest in this. It could be you finally doing something that you feel is your purpose. You know, and all this discomfort that may have happened, it caused you to change in a way that now you're doing what you feel is right for you. With the Knight of Swords being your energy, okay? All right, guys. Let's see what is going on in the second quarter. Okay, so we have April, May, and June. What is going on in 2018 for the sign of Libra? April, May, and June. Okay. So the energy that you guys have is the death card, okay? So you had the tower card before, and now you have the death card. So there's definitely big changes that are coming in for you. Um, and this is something that's going to give you strength. This is going to be a good opportunity. A lot of you could be finding your soulmates, okay? Or just a good job that's going to be good for the soul. And that happened and was possible because of whatever caused you a loss before, because of what you had to let go of. You know, that in itself gave you power, Okay. The most powerful people in life are those who have gone through a lot of pain. So I think that this is a really good thing for you. Now, starting off in April with love, we have the page of pentacles. So maybe there's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's going to be important in your life or someone that you're just, uh, you know, approaching slowly. But there could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you let go of in the process. Okay. And there might be conflict that you have with this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio by you letting them go. Okay, so there could be a harsh exchange of words here, but there is something that you guys are building. Again, I see it being with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so this is going to be someone who you see as very stable, someone who is really down for you, someone who's going to cook meals from scratch, you know, someone who's going to take care of you when you're sick, that sort of, you know, very reliable person. Now, for finances, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Anytime you guys get Pentacles and finances, it's a good thing. Pentacles is money. So you guys are moving forward in a very methodical and strategic way. 
that's going to help you to build your finances. And something that you were doing in the past, you're no longer looking at it as, you know, an avenue of finances. You're letting something go and moving forward. All right. And with the eight of wands in the reverse, there's just something, and I feel like this is from the month prior, that just wasn't working for you. So you move forward in a way that you're actually building your finances in a better way. Now, the energy that you have for April is the Seven of Cups. So there is definitely situations here where you may have had illusions or maybe you had a lot of options in terms of how you could have gone. Okay, and with the Three of Pentacles, you dropped anything that you felt, you know, was causing illusions or you felt like there was a smoke screen in front of you. And because you do, that's why you go into alignment with a good partner, or a good job, or something that your soul really wants. So this is really good. By you guys standing your ground and doing what feels right for you, you get better things in life. Okay? Now, going into May, for love, we have the Hierophant. So this could specifically be a Taurus, but this could just be a situation where for those who are single, they're getting into a relationship. For those who, you know, are in a relationship, maybe they're getting married. But this is you seeing as someone, you know, being good on your path or following a path that you feel is going to be best for you. Four of Cups in the reverse. An offer that is accepted when it comes to love. Okay, Empress. So you guys are definitely going to have a beautiful new start coming in, you know, the month of May. So I see this as really nice. Now, going into um, work and finances. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So this is going to be, you know, somebody that has put some time and investment into something and they just think it's a waste of time. You're letting go of something that just doesn't make you happy anymore. All right. And with the eight of pentacles, there's something else that you're working hard on, something that makes you much happier. Okay. You guys are really getting into alignment with your purpose, with your soul purpose and with the general energy for me, you guys have the full card in the reverse. So there's something here that you're looking at as a risk that you don't want to take, okay? And it could be with the particular lover that comes in, or maybe there's a risk that you don't take because you want things to be good with this lover that's coming into your life, okay? King of Cups. So I keep seeing this back and forth between, uh, you know, water sign and earth sign for you guys. So... I mean, it doesn't have to be water or earth, but the main story is that there's someone that you let go of from the past and someone new that you start talking to. You're talking to someone new. You start building with the someone new. You start feeling good with the someone new. And then the past comes in and you say, not today, Satan. Okay. And you let it go and you keep moving. Now, going into the month of June, for love, you guys have the high priestess. Okay. So with the high priestess, you're really in tune with what you think is the right move to make. Uh, you know, this is you guys being very intuitive. This is you guys being able to trust your gut feeling. Again, we still have this Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's there. Um, you know, somebody who is a family person, someone who's looking at things, you know, for long term. And with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, maybe it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn from your past, but I see this as something that's making you feel very, very good. All right. For finances in the month of, where are we, June, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. So this could be a fallout of a partnership. This could be something that you see as something you don't want to celebrate. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Someone here who's overly emotional due to a fallout of something. Five of Pentacles. Maybe you guys leave a job. Maybe you get fired from a job. Okay, or maybe you have some sort of financial burden or something that hits this month where it feels a bit burdening and you're kind of out of your element because of it. But don't worry, guys, you'll get through it. All right. You have the victory card here. Sometimes we get challenges in life, but it's just to test, you know, how far we can go with certain things. Now, the energy here for uh, June, the general energy, we have the moon card, realization, secrets coming out and awakening, clarity. Okay, we have the chariot in the reverse. So there's something here that you feel is out of your control. You feel that it's out of your grasp. And with the devil card, you know, it's a toxic situation that you guys have to deal with. Something that can be conflicting. And the funny thing is, I feel like the conflict that is coming in is from someone else. And it's happening because they see you balanced. Because they see you stabilizing yourself. Because they see you going into something that's going to be good, warm, and abundant. And it's kind of like, how dare you be happy without me? Okay, so that's really what I'm sensing here. That you guys finally start doing what's good for you. And people are like, oh my gosh, they're happy without me? This isn't supposed to happen. 
but that's a, that's not a bad thing, right? All right, lovelies, let's go into the third quarter. What is happening for the sign of Libra, the third quarter of 2018? Okay. We have love, finance, and career for July, August, and September. All right, so the energy that you guys have is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So that could be a re uh, reconciliation that you have with a past lover. That could be people who are single getting into a relationship. Or you could straight up just be dealing with someone who is selfish. Selfish, they're a leech, they drain you of your energy. But you see it for what it is. You see it as bad judgment. And what do you do? You turn your back. And then what happens when you turn your back? Money comes in, prosperity comes in, abundance comes in. The main thing that you guys have to realize for this year is that anyone who's fucking with your emotions, anyone that's throwing off your vibe, anyone that's pissing you off, they're going to get in the way of your blessings. And if you want to remain, you know, having good blessings in your life, make sure that those people are not in it. We get to choose who's around us. We get to choose, you know, who we spend our time with, who we eat dinner with, you know. Things that we can't choose, maybe it's family. But even with family, you don't necessarily have to hang out with them if you're not in the mood for it. But just make sure that you guys um, don't become complacent and stay around people that just could be, you know, a mess to what you want to do in life, okay? Now for love, in the month of, where are we, July, you guys have the two of wands, all right? So there's a path that you're passionate about. There's something good that's coming in. Oh, all right. Someone that you're building with. Now... It could be a water sign that pops up again, okay? We have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I want you guys to be careful, okay? Because with the High Priestess in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in the reverse, there could be warning signs or red flags that you see about this person, guys. But if you choose to ignore it, even though you know innately that there's something that's not right with this person, it's going to cause you distress. So a lot of the stuff that could be happening in terms of love or just with finances, a lot of it could be avoided if you just see it for what it is. You wake up and you just, you know, you know it for what it is. I personally, and I, I've said this before, but I don't always like getting my cards read because, <laughs> and I know as a tarot reader, this is like the dumbest thing for me to say, but sometimes just looking at my future, I get anxious, especially if negative cards pop up. You know, when I see the Ten of Swords or cards of betrayal or heartbreak, I'm like, shit. But... Ever since I started reading or ever since I understood cards or ever since, you know, people started reading for me and I was able to understand what they were pulling, anytime I saw something negative, and I promise you this is true, it has never, ever come to pass. And not saying that, like, I'll see a negative card, like, oh, what? My boyfriend's going to betray me in two months? Oh, screw you. I'm, I'm breaking up with you right now. No, I'm not going to be crazy like that. But there's going to be certain signs that you look for, certain things that you look for. So if you start seeing certain signs, it's like, hmm, let me, you know, press the brakes on this. So if something doesn't feel right, guys, it's up to you to make sure that you're putting the brakes on that situation, that you're not moving forward with something that's not going to be good for you. Now, for finances in the month of July, you guys have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this could just mean that there's a sense of instability on the home front, okay? Because you guys are still in a place where you're building you know, moving forward, but there may have been a decision that you made or maybe someone in the home made that made things a bit unstable, that made people unhappy, and you guys are right there, you know, you're telling them what's on your mind, you're telling them, you know, how are we going to fix this, and it could honestly be an offer that you guys don't accept that causes the sense of instability, okay, because you're seeing it for what it is, and you feel like it's something that would make you unbalanced. So you're like, you know what, I'm going to turn my back on this. And again, when you turn your back on this, what do you get? Abundance. So if something doesn't feel right, don't be forced into it. Now, for your general energy, okay, for July, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. If this is within love, there's going to be someone who is more emotionally invested in a person than that person is with them. 
This is someone who sticks around because it's convenient for them, because they're bored, because they need someone to listen to them, because they just want a shoulder to cry on. But it's only going to happen if it's convenient for them. If this is within work, then this is somebody that, you know, maybe doesn't like their job, but they know it's going to put food on the table, so they show up anyways. It doesn't matter what it is in life, and, you know, especially if it's you guys taking on this energy, if there's something that just doesn't feel good, again, nothing's holding you there. You know, there's so many jobs in this world, there's so many people in this world, and there's so many souls that want the absolute best for you, and it's really easy to get caught up and wrapped up in the negativity, and I'm kind of giving myself a pep talk right now because I needed this, but it's so easy to get wrapped up in negativity, and it's like we can have a hundred people who are on our side, or, and you know, a lot of people that see good in us, but it's that one person, it's that one person that does something that we're just like, fuck. And we just doubt ourselves and we think about things and we go to situations that we don't want to be in. And it's just, you have to learn how to cut that out because, you know, just the human brain, it's, it's designed to, you know, protect us in times of pain or things that they think could be troubling to us or things that could be danger. So it focuses more on the negative because it's trying to protect. And you have to train yourself to think more positively and put yourself around people who are going to help you to do that. If you are in a room with someone, whether it be a boss or a lover or a friend, you know, or even a family member, again, sometimes family could be the worst for us. You never know. But if you feel like, you know, there's some sort of disconnect, just withdraw yourself. You don't have to have certain relationships, especially if you're a grown adult. You know, if, if you're at home living with parents, I, I could understand how you may feel a bit trapped. But if you're on your own, if you have your own four walls, a roof over your head and you know, you're the bill payer, you're the decision maker, then there's absolutely no excuse to have bullshit in your life, okay? Home should be where you find peace. And if there's no peace at home, then what's going on, okay? Now, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Sorry for the right, guys. Let's see what this is about. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, which is a card of unhappiness, okay? So there's someone that's dealing with a situation that they don't want to be in, okay? And it's causing unhappiness. And so what do you guys do? You remove yourself, okay? You remove yourself from that. Libra, you guys just gave me, like, a nice kick in the butt right now because I was feeling a bit tired. <laughs> but that's awesome. Uh, this reading is getting me in. Now, going into, where are we, the month of August. For love, we have the Ten of Swords, okay? There could be a betrayal here. There could be a harsh ending here, okay? But why does this happen? Because there's warning signs that we choose to ignore. Guys, this could be avoided. This does not have to happen. If you see it coming, if you feel like, okay, well, this person, you know, they said they were going to come over right after work. They were five minutes away. They didn't get here till three and a half hours later. And they smelled like they were fresh out of a shower. Come on. You know, you got to look at certain things. All right. It's more painful to stay in a situation uh, with someone that you don't trust than it is to just move on from it. All right, and we have the magician where there may be some sort of betrayal, but there's something here that, you know, you're in the process of manifesting. And with the Knight of Swords, you guys take control, whether it's you causing the betrayal or someone else causing it to you. You just say, you know what? You cut it out. You move forward and you know that you're still in the position where you're able to get what you want out of life. All right, we have the Knight of Cups for finances. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, who's very important in your finances this month. Or just something that you do that you're very passionate about. Okay, you're going to be a good talker. You're going to be very charismatic. People are going to just naturally follow you and naturally just find you credible. You're not really going to have to do too much to convince people of what you're able to do. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So at times you may feel tired or at times you may feel maybe I'm doing more work than what I have to. But especially if you're working on something new, sometimes that's the initial process. We have to put in a lot of work, you know, in order to be comfortable. But there's something here that you find unbalanced that you just lose faith in, okay? But by losing faith in this thing and feeling that imbalance, you avoid problems. You avoid things that don't sit well with you. You avoid pettiness, bickering, arguing, competition, anything like that, all right? We have the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Swords, you're really between a rock and a hard place. It's between heart and mind, I feel, for you guys, all right? And maybe there's a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that's very, very important for you, okay? But it's like anything that you were stuck in your head about, you stop working on, you stop putting effort into, and there's a new start here that comes here, guys. Something that's going to feel good. And this new start, why did it come? 
because there's a secret that came out about an injustice, okay, about something that was unstable, about something you don't feel proud of. So yeah, shit hits the fan, but you find a good way out, all right? So let's get into the month of September. So for love, you guys have um, the Three of Swords. So with the Three of Swords, you're in a place where it's like, you're really just upset. You could be disappointed with something, but you're seeing the reality of the situation. Okay, there's no more illusion. There's no more confusion. There's no more um, sense of just trying to find answers. And you stop putting effort into things that do not work for you. Okay, for some of you, that might be towards the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Maybe they stop talking to you. Um, and yes, there's going to be a sense of imbalance, but from discomfort comes beautiful things. From pressure, you know, comes diamonds. So you guys have to understand that, yes, there might be a painful situation, but it's preparing you for something that you have to do. And, I, you know, I said this in the beginning, but the most successful people in life are people that have gone through pain. So thank the person for that wake-up call, okay? And make sure that you're working on yourself and your purpose if this doesn't work out. Now, there's really going to be this energy if you guys just letting go of toxicity, letting go of things that don't work for you, because for work and finances, we have the Eight of Cups. There's something that left you unbalanced. There's something that you lost faith in, and you're like, nah, I'm good. No amount in, you know, no amount of money in the world is worth you feeling unbalanced. I don't care if someone's paying you, you know, two, three thousand dollars a week. That is not worth stress. It's not worth any bullshit. Okay, just because someone throws you money does not mean that they own you. So you walk away from the bullshit, and guess what? You find another opportunity that's better for you. All right, world card, bam. You end the chapter of your life when it comes to finances and how you go about things and you have a new start, something that you celebrate from coming out of what did not work out. Look at that. That's beautiful. Even Swayze is excited. Swayze, are you excited for Libra? He thinks I'm insane. All right. Now, going into the general for September, guys, we have the sun card in the verse. So unexpected news comes out. Okay, this could be bad. This could be good. Seven of Wands in the reverse that causes you to walk away from something that you're just frustrated with. You just don't want to take it anymore. And you stop putting effort into it. Good for you guys. Okay? You stand up for yourself and you're like, you know what? I'm better off alone. I could be bad all by myself. Amazing, guys. I, I really like this. And, you know, I've been doing these readings and people have been tearing me apart anytime they see a negative card. But, guys, you got to understand, you know, we're, we're looking at a year here. Have you ever gone in a full year, even if you were a child, have you ever gone a full year without some sort of bump in the road, without some sort of adversity being thrown at you? That's life, okay? I, I can't sit here and sugarcoat things. People want me to paint a pretty picture, but I'm here to paint a realistic one. And when things are challenging, that's when you become more of a boss because you get through it. And when you learn how to deal with big conflicts in your life, that's when you're able to become powerful. When you're able to look adversity in the face, that's when you become successful. If you can't handle change, if you can't handle, you know, challenges, if you can't handle certain sort of pain, you're not ready to be successful. It's just simple as that, okay? All right, guys. Energy that you have. For the fourth quarter is the two of pentacles. You're in a place where there could be a lot where you're trying to find balance. You're trying to find something that's going to be good for you, okay? But look at the road you're on. You know you're going to get it anyways. You know you're going to get this kind of cups. You know you're going to be happy. You know you're going to be abundant. You know that your house is going to be fruitful. You know that you're going to have, you know, things that are going to just benefit you and those around you. But, again, this stuff comes from certain opportunities or people that you let go of. So, it's again, it's kind of a wake-up call. Now... For um, love, and where are we? In October, you guys have the Six of Wands, so there's something you feel very proud about. There's a victory that's happening here. Swayze, stop eating that. All right, and we have the Five of Wands. So there's something that you feel good about, something that you see as a victory, but there's conflict around this, and it could be the type of situation where you're seeing illusions. Again, guys, this water energy, I don't know who it is for y'all, but... <laughs> Uh, you know, they're, they're really playing with you this year, okay? And you're going to drop it. You don't want problems, okay? So this could be someone who's promiscuous, could be someone that cheats, and you know dropping it is the right path to take. You know, it's going to be you coming into your purpose. Uh, the funny thing was, guys, I had recorded half of your reading beforehand, 
but I had someone come to the door and I'm thinking it's like family members or just someone visiting and you know I had to cut it off because of the recording system that I had so I cut it off I'm like I'm gonna have to do this over but it's the same thing I kept seeing this water energy come up so you guys really want to be um I'm not saying treat water signs like shit don't do that that's bad, bad, bad. but it's you know, just be aware of what's going on. Be open-minded. Be vigilant, okay? Now, for work and finances, in the month of October, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So something that you had invested a lot of time in, you saw it as a waste of time, you let it go. Page of Cups in the reverse, you're not interested in it anymore. You're no longer passionate about it, right? Now, with the Hermit card in the reverse, you move forward space, but move. You see what he's playing with, guys? Stop it. Stop being evil. All right. So you just, you take the L on this one, guys. You take a loss here. It's just something that's not going to work, you know. And with the three of cups in the reverse, you know, there could have been cheating that happened in a relationship that you were part of or maybe someone that you were interested in. Uh, this could have been a fallout of a partnership with work, a fallout from a job, or just you simply saying, oh, my God, I don't want to go out right now. I kind of want to be withdrawn. I kind of want to, you know, think to myself. And maybe that's what you guys need. Maybe you guys need that silence because I find that once you get really comfortable within your own silence, nothing can really bother you, okay? If you don't need that good night text or that good night call, if you don't need, um, you know, confirmation from other people about how you should live your life, that sort of thing, I think that could be a very powerful thing, okay? And with the Queen of Swords... That's you guys getting into your element. That's you guys cutting out what's not going to be good for you. That's you guys being guarded towards bullshit. Maybe it's going to be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay? That may be coming back from the past. Yeah. You have someone coming back from the past who is going to bring you balance. This is going back and forth between a water sign and an earth sign from what I see for you guys, okay? And you choose to drop what made you feel a loss, whatever made you feel like you had you know, no control of your life, so you gave up on it, because you knew it was something that made you feel reckless, you knew that there was a manipulation here, okay, and even if you're not over it, you choose to let it go, because it's something that made you lost, or made you feel lost, okay, now, going into, where are we, November, Swayze, oh my goodness, stop it, sorry guys, hold on, Leave it alone. And we're back. All right. So for, um, where are we? Octo uh, November. For love, we have the four of wands. You see the shit for what it is. You cut it out. You stabilize yourself. Okay. Swayze. Oh, my goodness. I need to get a spray bottle. We have the five of swords in the reverse which is you avoiding conflict at all costs, you avoiding anything that could be, you know, disheartening to you. And with the tower card in the verse, you guys literally avoid a catastrophe here, okay? You avoid something that's not going to be good for you. Now, for finances, we have the five of cups. So there could be a time here where you guys, you know, you feel a certain loss of finances, but you have the queen of pentacles. Now, the queen of pentacles is someone who, you know, she's the most stable female in the deck, but you know, that could be male, female, doesn't matter, but this is someone who's very stable with their finances, but there's also a loss that you feel her at the same time, and I think that it's just a job that you walk away from or something that doesn't work, but you're so good, all right, everything's back to normal on the home front, you know, things are stable on the home front, and yeah, you're dealing with someone in the general energy that is overly emotional about something, it could be that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because again, I see you guys going back and forth between an earth sign and a water sign, I'm going to sell my cat. I'm kidding. I can't sell him. But, oh, man. So we have the magician in the reverse. So there's someone who's manipulative, okay, in a situation. You stop talking to them. You let them go. They're upset about it. And you have someone new there. All right? This could be with finances too, guys. You let go of something that just made you overly emotional. It didn't work out. But now you get a new opportunity that comes in. Or maybe you have a fallout with a water sign and you move forward with an earth sign, okay? Now, going into December, we have, for love, the moon card. 
this is clarity, this could be secrets coming out, this could be that kind of aha moment that we have, an awakening that we have, seeing someone for what they are and what they're able to provide us, all right? And with the strength card, there's strength that comes in, okay? There's resiliency that comes in. And we have the Eight of Swords here. So with the Eight of Swords, there's really something that you're in your head about, something that you feel trapped with. Sways, come here, come here, come here. He wants to get on the table here. Say hi. What's the problem? What's the problem? Can you leave me alone? Can I work? Please? Go. Get it. All right. So, yeah, there's something here that you're stuck in your head about it. The worst thing that's going to happen, guys, in December when it comes to love is you're going to be in your own head. Okay? And it could be about the negative things that happened in the past. It could be about things that made you feel uncomfortable. But with this clarity, you find strength. You just have to find a way to get out of your head about it. For work, you guys have the two of cups. You fall into alignment with your purpose. Maybe there's someone that, you know, is very significant and important to you. Someone that you look at as a soulmate. Soulmates aren't just lovers, guys. This could be friends, you know, that we feel we were sisters or brothers in a past life. Um, you know, someone that you're very close to in your family that they could help you to get a new opportunity. All right? Four of cups in reverse. An offer that you accept. A new opportunity that comes in. After you let go of an opportunity that may not have worked out. Okay. Now, your general energy here for December, right, going into 2019, is beautiful. You have the high priestess. You guys have completed your awakening. All right. You let go of things that weren't good for you. You let go of circumstances that could have been painful. And you're on the right path. Everything just works itself out. And you guys go into two uh, you know, 2019 strong. Now, with the King of Swords in the verse here, there could have been things that made you feel unbalanced that really brought you out of your element where you put yourself in a place where it's like, you know what, I need to be a little bit selfish right now, okay? And you do that. Knight of, uh, you have the Knight of Swords in the verse here. So there's going to be a situation or someone that you're upset that you have to let go of, okay? Something where you may feel like you're in limbo. Maybe someone who cheated, maybe someone who's unreliable, maybe a job that let you go or you let it go. But this is what happens once that is let go of. All right. So there's a new start that comes in. With every door that closes, there is a new one that opens. Don't focus on things that you have no control over. If you have control over, sure, look at a situation or look at a solution rather. If it's something that's out of your hands, what is stressing going to do for you? And it took me a while to get that. And, you know, me and my mom, we don't always see eye to eye, but this is just one of the wisest people I know. And... She taught me that, you know, from a young age, but it took me a few years to get it. You know, I'd cry, I'd be upset about certain things, and she's like, what's that, can you change it? And I'm like, well, no, it's out of my hands. Okay, so why are you crying about it? If it's out of your control, what is stressing out going to do for you? Nothing. And I learned to look at things in a different way, and so it's just even when bad things happen or things that are uncomfortable for me, I always try to see the good in it. What did I learn from this? What did this person teach me? What did the situation teach me? Every person that has hurt me, every person that has put me down, every person who has looked at me in a terrible way has been a brick that I added to my foundation. Every brick they threw at me, I made a very solid foundation. And now they're upset to see that I'm not bothered by certain things, okay? All right. So the advice that you guys have for 2018 the energy here is the Ten of Swords. There's going to be some sort of ending that could be hard for you. There's going to be some sort of betrayal that maybe could be the highlight of your year, you know, in terms of negative things that may have happened. But because of this betrayal, it puts you on an insanely good, you know, new path. You end things as you know it, and you move forward in a good way. Because of things that went wrong, you found your patience or you found your passion, rather, okay? You found your power. You found that fiery energy within you to just move forward and do what you feel is right and not worry about others, all right? So, yes, there's going to be things that may be uncomfortable, but it makes you guys very powerful. You guys have the King of Swords. This is you and your strongest element. You have the Knight of Swords where you guys are making action. You're taking control of your life. You're taking power back. And this limbo that you may be in, you get through it. You get over it. You know, you don't remain in this hanged man position. You move past it. 
And again, for some of you, it's like you might move past the situation with your feet dragging. But you got to ask yourself, what did I do to get myself into this? And what can I do to avoid it in the future? I had to learn or I had to be in a situation where the love was just wrong in order to learn the proper way to love. Okay, sometimes by going through everything that we don't want, it puts us on the path for what we do want. And that's exactly what's going to be happening for you guys. You're really going to learn what's going to be good for you, uh, who belongs in your life, who doesn't belong in your life. And I think that is going to be beautiful. All right. So, guys, I love you so much. Uh, I think this was a very great reading. And, again, if you guys, you know, do want this reading because this is not going to resonate with 100% of you, you can go ahead and get the yearly read. Now, there's two options. As you guys see, you know, this will be anywhere from 40 to about 45 minutes. Um, and I give advice at the end just for your particular year. If you want to take it a step up, you guys can get the hour reading. And then I'll just break up the advice that I give you quarter by quarter so we can get a little more into what's going on in your life. All right. I love you guys. And, oh, the wait is 10 to 14 days right now. Okay. So I hope you guys are having a good new year. Take care.